The second aspect that this curse activates in the person's life we see in Jeremiah 17 is the Bible says the heart departs from God. I call it heart tricks. When you are not hungry for God, when you feel like you don't need God, you don't have a reason to pray, fast, seek His face. You feel like maybe everything is fine in your life to do that. And only problems cause you to seek God. Unknowingly, we are attracting curse by that kind of attitude in our life. What happens second is that our heart, it begins to not rebel against God. It begins to get distant from God. Our heart begins to draw further from God and this is the interesting part. The further your heart gets away from God, the closer your heart becomes the God. Since we don't have a God, our heart becomes the God. And then the verse 8, 9 says this, the heart is deceitful above all things. What begins to happen is a person's heart, the word deceitful there is actually the word Jacob where the heart like Jacob tricked Esau begins to trick the very people who trust in it. Heart when you are losing hunger and passion for God seeking that dependence upon God this is what happens your heart begins to drift away from God and you begin to since there's no connection to the Lord you only have a connection to yourself so your connection is to yourself and you follow what the culture says follow your heart and as you follow your heart your heart plays tricks your heart is like Jacob. It treats you good and then it lies to you. It sets you up for a failure. It breaks you like Esau was crying because Jacob tricked him and that's exactly what happens with the heart. It will always trick the Esau in you. It will trick you when it comes to choosing a relationship. It will lead you. Everything will seem so good and then you, you're heartbroken. You're bitter. You, you, you're broken. Why? Because the very heart that is broken, it was the very heart you trusted in and it deceived you. You never see in the Bible where God says trust in your heart. It always says trust in the Lord. Trust in the heart is only in our culture because our culture doesn't have a God to trust in. We have someone to trust with our heart too. It's our God. Don't ever follow your heart if your heart is not following God. Being tricked, being lied to is such a horrible feeling. 